Hi everybody, I'm Caramel Coco Brown. Welcome to another edition of My Favorite Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be cooking my favorite breakfast. And those of you who are from the South, when I tell you what I'm going to cook today, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Today, we're going to have fish and grits with hush puppies. Yay! So let's begin. Um, I already went to the fish market today and I got some uh, perch fish, which are in season right now. These are a little small, but um, that's okay. Uh, I can only find uh, perch in certain areas, uh, certain stores in this area. So when I am able to find them, I'm very happy. So I'm gonna just season up these uh, few fish um, with some pepper, a little bit of sea salt, I got my seasonings from uh, Costco, Costco sells Kirkland brand, I mean um, McCormick and uh, their own brand of seasoning, I put some, this is McCormick garlic powder. Uh, and some paprika. And some McCormick fancy paprika. We always play and say paprika. We always play around with the word. I'm gonna flip them over. And uh, season them up a little bit. I think I love these uh, uh, salt and pepper shakers, but the salt doesn't come out really like I want it to. So that's why I always end up going to the actual bottle. The pepper, well, you have to adjust the top so that you don't want it to come out. Um, if you want it, want it to come out really fine, you, you, you turn it so that it's tight. And then if you want it to come out coarse, you loosen it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit more garlic salt on here. Garlic powder, I don't deal with garlic salt or onion salt or any of that. Uh, cause I've already put salt on it. Okay, some paprika for color. I don't know that paprika does anything for flavor. My mom always chops off um, her um, potato salad, uh, devil eggs, uh, any kind of salad with paprika cause it makes it look good, I don't know. But in any event, so my, my fish is seasoned and ready to go into the pan. And so now, put some oil in the pan. And uh, don't you like, the, the, isn't that bottle fabulous? I found this bottle, um, Rachel Ray had it one day, and I love to give props to whom props are due. And uh, I saw that and I went online, uh, the, the website uh, fails me at the moment. When I think of it, I'll let you know. I think it was, um, oh, I can't think of it right now. But in any event, I ordered those and I love them. One is for uh, oil. That was um, light, uh, light olive oil that I put in there, by the way. And one thing that I like to do, my grits have already been cooking for a while and they're about as creamy as I really want them to be. But what I do is, um, the box says quick licks. Uh, they're too lumpy and, and gritty for me that way. So I, I always cook them a long time. And what I do, whenever I, uh, need something um, like with a sauce, like gravy or anything like that. I always keep a pot of water boiling on the stove so that as to jumpstart what I'm doing. So I just put a little bit more water in here just to um, loosen up my grits just a little bit, make them a little bit more creamy, a little more creamy. And um, they're pretty, just, pretty much just about done though. You will notice I don't measure anything. Okay, so you just got to just have to pay attention and follow me. So my mom always um, used Indian head yellow cornmeal, and so I grew up doing that. This this is a half cup, and I'm only doing this really for your benefit. But really, I would have just dumped it, dumped it in here because I know pretty much how much I want. Okay, so I'm gonna put about a half a cup of flour in there too. And the flour gives it, just it helps it hold together, uh, gives it some consistency. Um, 
And guys, as I cook, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not, not like uh, some, some other chefs, they have an answer for everything. I don't really necessarily have an answer for everything that I do, I just do it and it works for me, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here. A dash of pepper or two. I'm gonna stir that up, mix it all up together. This is Clabber Girl baking powder. When I found this, I just had to chuckle because it brought back memories of growing up in the South. My grandmother used to use Clabber Girl baking powder, and then there was another baking powder uh, with an Indian on it or something, I forgot, I think. But in any event, I was like about a teaspoon of that, even though this is a tablespoon, put like half of that in here. I'm mixing it all up. I'm not gonna burn the house down. I turned my, my pan off for a minute because I'm not ready to actually fry up my fish. I want to make the batter for my hush puppies first. And then I will, because we want everything to be hot. So we're gonna chop up these onions a little bit more. I love onions. Uh, there will rarely be anything that you see me cook that will not have onions uh, in, in it, really. And, and if it is, it's probably something sweet. And I, I'm, I'm not really a baker, you know. I just like to cook. I usually buy my baked goods from um, other people. Okay, so that's enough onions. I have all my ingredients. Remember, I have a little salt, I have a little pepper. I have my Clabber Girl baking powder in here. And I have a little bit of salt. I mean, I'm sorry, a little bit of sugar. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add... Uh, a little bit of milk. I watch my mom and grandma and aunts and, you know, a few men folk in the family too cook. And uh, just kind of learn from watching them. This is gonna be perfect because this is about the consistency, the texture that I need the hush puppies to be. Anyway, so my hush puppy batter is ready. Nice, grease was perfect. Temperature was perfect, fabulous. Look at that. And while my fish is cooking, sometimes what I'll do, especially if I have room, I will plop some um, hush puppy batter in there because of course you want, you want everything to be hot. So I want my hush puppies ready when my fish is ready. So, the other reason why you, you uh, need the consistency of your hush puppy batter to be just right is if it's not, it's gonna tear apart in the oil. And so you're gonna have like um, all this batter like floating around in the oil and you don't want that. Okay, someone once asked me, how do you know when something is ready to be turned over? Well, you see the edge on that hush puppy? Um, you see how it's like percolating? I call it percolating. It's ready to be turned over. You look at it and you see that it's cooking on, the edges are all, you see the, the little holes in it. Sometimes if the, if the batter is too thick, it won't cook in the middle. And I've had to, you know, work on that as well. Make sure your pan is evenly on the stove. Like if you notice these two pieces over here, this pan is a little bit uh, larger than this eye, so I have to make sure that things are centered so that um, everything is cooked evenly. Put all this in the oven to stay warm, to have it on warm. And uh, we're just about ready to chow down. All right, guys, we're gonna eat in a few minutes, but I take very, very good care of my uh, pans, my pots and pans, uh, and um, whenever there's a, you know, blemish on them, I, I clean it off right away, sometimes even before I eat. So, Barkeeper's Friend really is your friend. Uh, we keep it stocked in this house because uh, we have a lot of stainless steel, if you haven't noticed. You pay a lot of money for your things. You want to take care of them and keep them good. I have three uh, brands of pots that I use in here. I have all clad, I have a few all clad pieces. I have some Capilon pieces and uh, uh, Cuisinart. 
Um, I'm working on getting a whole set of all clad. But I have uh, so many pieces and I'm almost there. So I kind of like open stock cause, because with the open stock, you actually get the pieces that you actually want. You know, look at that. Like new. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to tell you. Um, at one point, you saw me with my hair out and then you saw me with my cap on. I put my cap on, number one, because I'm so proud of the New York Giants who had me won the Super Bowl. And also because I don't want that fish smell on my hair. I just got my hair done yesterday. And uh, no, I don't think so. Got to go to church tomorrow and I don't want my hair smelling like fish. Okay? So that's the explanation for that. So guys, this is Caramel Coco Brown from My Favorite Kitchen coming to you with one of one southern favorite hominy grits and fried fish with hush puppies and so until next time you guys be blessed eat well talk to you soon bye